Hey guys, it's me again. Um, just I'm gonna do a quick video showing uh, different applications that I use a lot with the Xperia X1. Um, I use these programs, you know, almost every day. It depends, you know, where I'm going. But uh, like I was saying before, I'm in the city, so some of these things you may find useful for you. But like, say for example, you're all the way, you know, like in Sweden, in the middle of the country, you know, nice, quite remote place. Some of these things, you know, you may not even really care for, but uh, and I'm just showing you what I use. Um, let me turn the light off so you can see the screen better without any reflection. Focus a little bit more. All right, we're good. All right, I'll start from the top. Um, the first program I would recommend is called Beehive IM. It's an instant messaging program that allows you to log in using um, Yahoo, AIM, MSN. Um, I believe there's also Google Chat, Google Talk, whatever it's called. Face, um, no, MySpace and something else. Um, it's a pretty good program. It's you know nice and light. You know, it doesn't cause any hang-ups or anything like that. You know, I really recommend it. Um, you know, save example. You know, I like the the chat feature that you have. You see, like a little comic, you know, like comic box. Like save example, you want to type something like you know, like say like what's up. You type that in, you see like a little, you know, like a comic box comes comes up. You know, that's how it looks. You know, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else, you know, besides this program. Um, Google Maps. This is a must-have for any person, you know. If your phone can have it, I recommend that you get it. Um, it's a nice, you know, application to have. Um, pretty useful, like, say, for example, you're out in the city or out wherever, and you basically know where you are. Say, for example, you're looking for, like, a, a doctor or a doctor's office or something. Um, let me try this. I'm not sure if it'll come up, but we'll see. Search. Oh, there's like a lot of doctors around me. Okay, so you basically want to go to the new zone, send you downstate. You know, that's a hospital near me right there. You type hit, you know, you tap the screen right here, directions to here, use my current location, boom, shows you how to get it. And then, um, you know, it's pretty good, especially using the use GPS feature. You know, you'll be able to get it, you know, in no time. Um, let's see what else. Next program I recommend is called Lexus Go. It's a dictionary program. Say, for example, I'm in class, you know, and the professor's lecturing about something, and the lecturer says, like, some kind of terminology, like, you know, something. And the, close, the whole class goes, like, what the hell is he talking about? You know, just quick look it up here, you know, like, type in a word. The dictionary is pretty vast. It has a lot of words. You put it up in there, you know, you find it, and then you can see what it is and see what's going on. Another feature that I like too is it has the auto scroll feature. So instead of having to scroll down on the side, you press on the, the scroll bar, automatically scrolls on its own. You know, I like that feature also. Okay, like next up is uh, MSN Messenger. This is a pretty good, uh, you know, this is a standard MSN program, Messenger program that you can find in uh, Windows mobile phones. You know, nothing really too f spectacular, but I just like it because it's, you know, it's the original one. It's given me no problem. You know, I've been using it for a long time, so, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, Opera browser. This is a solid browser here. Um, you know, sometimes when you're on your desktop, yeah, not sometimes, you know when you're on your desktop at home or on your laptop, you're able to view web pages in the full view. Um, the Opera browser enables you to do that. You know, like, say, for example, I want to go to, um, like, like, CNN.com. Enables me to view the whole site, you know, like, the full view, like I would see on my desktop, compared to, like, the mobile view. You have the option to switch to the mobile view if you want to, but I like using the actual full view because um, it's widescreen and you can see the font. I have no problem seeing the font. Um, you know, it's just there. Yeah, all the information's on the screen. I love the feature that I like about it. Like, you know, say for example, you say to yourself, "Oh my goodness, I can't see the font; it's too small." You're able to just double tap the screen, and it zooms in to wherever you know you want to look at. You could scroll down, you know, left, right, whatever. And um, you know, it's pretty good. The web page is still loading. That's why you still see like the checkers and stuff. 
but um but yeah it's a really good browser you know I highly recommend it um oh, what's this oh yeah what's another link uh yeah I recommend Opera it's a definite must have okay let's see what else um let me go down some more besides Opera let me see going down on the list would be hmm. all right uh shozu shozu um I know some of you guys use like a lot of photo sharing sites like uh photo blogging and I think it's called that you know where you take a picture you show it to like your friends on like billions of people around the world oh wait no I, d I d mistakenly went to Dashwire. Yeah, Shozu. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, you just, you know, want to share, you know, pictures to your friends, you know, family, and whoever just want to basically look at your pictures, such as, you know, sites like Flickr and Facebook, and um, even if you want to show videos you know, to YouTube and other sites. Shozu, the, the program, um, let me try to focus a little bit m more. Like, say for example, like for my case, I went to the the beach, uh, Queen Island Beach for the 4th of July, and I was taking pictures there, you know, playing football, taking pictures. Um, every time I took a picture, this was when I was using the HTC Touch Cruise, but it's the same application. Every time I took a picture, it'll ask me if I want to upload it to, like, Facebook, Flickr, or if I took a video, recorded a video with my phone, if it asks me, you know, it asks me if I want to upload it to uh, YouTube also. So, like, say for example, I'm on the beach, um, take a picture, automatically goes to your site, you know, puts it up on Facebook or Flickr right away. And another feature that I like about it too, it has a, a ap um, an application called geotagging. So it uses the GPS, you know, device. And it basically shows your location on the photo. Like, say, for example, not actually on the photo, but like, you know, if you upload it to Flickr or Facebook, you see the photo there. It says, you know, photo taken by whatever device at what time, whatever date. And it says, so this location was at, uh, you know, like Coney Island Beach at this exact spot. And it says, please click here to see, you know, this spot on the map. And it shows you exactly where you took the picture, you know, so. I really like that feature, but for those guys who go around messing around with other people's girls and wives and all that stuff, you might not really want that feature because if you take a picture accidentally goes online, the guy could find out exactly which hotel you were, so you'd be dead. Um, another program, Skype. Skype is Skype. You know, is a must-have for vo you know phones with you know Wi-Fi, 3G connection, or a pretty decent you know edge connection. Enables you to make voice over IP calls. Um, basically, for free, Skype to Skype is free. There's like a subscription for Skype for like $6 a year or something like that. It's definitely worth it. Saves me a lot of minutes, you know. Sometimes I don't feel like using my minutes and just make a Skype call. And the quality is exceptional on Wi-Fi and 3G. It's fairly decent on Edge, but, you know, it's a must-have either way. Another program is called Tube2. Like I said, I live in the city, so sometimes I want to go knocking about, you know, just plot my course on the map here and find out which train to connect to, which train to take, you know. And it's pretty good. Tom Tom. Do you know Tom Tom, the GPS navigation? I'm using Tom Tom 7 and um, with the US maps and Canada and Mexico. And, uh, you know, Tom Tom is very, very good. It works exceptionally well with the Xperia. Even has the widescreen feature, which is awesome. I like it. You know, that's basically that for Tom Tom. Um, another program that I like is called, not a program, but it's a service, it's called ORB.com. Basically, I have a couple of seconds to show this video, I don't really want to go for my 10 minute uh, thing. Basically, like, say for example, you have like media on your computer, you can stream it to your phone or whatever device and it streams it in very good quality pe depending on whatever connection you have. So say for example I'm at school and I'm using the Wi-Fi at school if I have like a 3G connection going on you're able to stream whatever you know you have on your computer onto this here. Right now is a football match that I have showing and it's pretty good quality. 
Bye.